Ayan, we are live. Good, good evening. It's 8 o'clock. Welcome to Balita sa South um, podcast or show or ano man tawag dito uh, of Alabang Bulletin. My name is Dinja Constantino of Alabang Bulletin. Ano bang Alabang Bulletin? Um, we're your 24-7 online news uh, source, news and happening source sa mga balita sa Las Piñas, Paranaque, Muntinlupa. Uh, thank you again for, for joining us. Uh, for another edition, ano na ngayon? Episode, episode 5. So, um, very special yung guest natin ngayon because uh, tatalakayan natin, aks tatalakayan, um, we're gonna discuss a uh, very important uh, matter. Uh, it's about biking. Kasi di ba ngayon, with, with what's happening sa GCQ, uh, limited pa public transportation. So, di ba, um, ang daming nagbabike, ang daming bumibili ng bike, di ba, ang daming nagbibigay ng bike, ang daming nag-aaral ulit ng bike. Totoo kaya yung it's just right it's just like riding a bicycle is that even true so um our guest ngayon um, is from uh, cycling matters si Jan Belmontes uh OG Saudian kahit wala siya sa South ngayon ano yan 21 years or 20 plus years yan nasa South sa BF Resort so so ako feel mo ko so neighbors malamang nadadaanan niya yung bahay namin dati so um so, malaman natin kung ano yung mga ginagawa nila ng Cycling Matters, yung mga protected bike lanes. Um, let's also find out about what bikes to buy. Let's get tips from him kasi matagal na siya nang bike um, He even sold his car para mag-bike na ngayon, bike to work na siya. So, okay. So, papasukan na natin si Jan. Okay, guys. From Cycling Matters, let's welcome Jan Belmonte. Hi, good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening man. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Ha. Thank you for accepting our, our offer. Sorry, wala pa kaming ano, eh, pang TF. Eh. Pag meron na, I'll de- deposit na lang kami or ano pa. <laughs> <laughs> Pambili ng helmet or something, di ba? So, Ayan. ano, thank you, yun. Um, I have a bunch of questions. Pero, syempre, ano, introduction muna. For those who don't know, kasi ako, I follow your your Facebook page, Cycling Matters. Oh, guys, follow nyo sila. Uh, those who are into biking or would be interested in biking. Um, what is ano, what is Cycling Matters? Well, Cycling Matters, we call ourselves so far a collective. No? We're a group of friends who really just got tired of the cycling conditions in the Philippines. Um, hmm. A mix kami of uh, cycling enthusiasts na who were doing it for leisure, some were doing it for sport, and there was me also uh, who was doing it for, for commute, for transport. So mm-hmm. at some point, um, napag-isipan namin, you know, we have to do something. We have to share our experience, share our ideas with people, and here we are. Matagal na ba yung, ano dyan, Cycling Matters? Kasi I recently, eh, nakita ko lang siya na itong, nung karoon ng time na, oh, kailangan mag-bike for, for ano, lockdown, ganyan. Pero matagal na ba siya? Yeah, uh, ano kami, nag-start kami July 2018, eh. So two years, mag-two okay. years na. So a bunch of friends gathered, ay, mga biking groups mo, ganyan. Yes, yes. Okay. Actually, all from the same cycling team. Kaya, kaya medyo may ganong, ano, uh, talagang from a friendship. <laughs> okay. At doon naman yan eh. At least maganda yung foundation niya, friendship. <laughs> yes. Saka lang ha. I'm trying to, ano eh, trying to start a watch party. Ayan. Ayan, a watch party niya ako. Para yung ibang friends ko na, na na may miss ako, makita din ako. <laughs> So, taga, ito, yung first question. Kasi di ba si Cycling Matters, ano kayo eh, I see sa posts nyo na parang advocate kayo ng, of course, ng biking. But yes. now na nangyayari ito, um, protection of bikers. So, yung hashtag na I saw is protected bike lanes na ko. Yeah. Diba? So, um, question, are, are we ready? Are we ready for, is the Philippines ready for biking kasi di ba like the other countries like Bangkok or uh San Juan Netherlands or ano ba yung mga heavy heavy na bikes na heavy populated na may bikes mm. kayo ba Jan truthfully you know with the situation kaya or how ready are we i'm sure kaya kaya yan di ba but how ready are we in terms of you know having bikes more bikes on the road okay so for us i think kasi the, um in this question parang there's a balance eh parang it, we need more um, infrastructure. We need more support as cyclists. But it's yeah. currently possible. If, we're, if the question is, is are we ready? Thousands of people, um, even 
a decade ago have already been cycling. They, they've done mm. their, their own, I know, diba? they've done it on their own. But yeah. um, we're ready, but we're not really ready for the safe and convenient riding. Diba? Mm. If we're talking about the real situation on the road, but I'm saying, especially um, the, the recent event that talagang nagkaroon ng COVID, diba? dumami yung mga uh, sabihin na natin na pilitan ng bisikleta or na biglang na pagkakas ng bisikleta. Oh, kasi wala silang masakyan to work. Yeah. Oh, marami rin talagang na na, na di discussion. So on one hand, mm-hmm. we're we are ready enough to let people bike, but we're not ready enough to protect them, and we really require a lot more investment um, than there should be. And uh-huh. if, if there is at all, diba? very very little, very very few LGUs have made investments on proper investments on cycling, and we. If we want to get there where we're ready, we, 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 our goal is to really make cycling a mainstream option for the regular person. Yeah. And uh, no, we're very thankful that I told you offline kanina, diba? na we're thankful sa group nyo among the other groups who are advocating for this. Because, um, you know, um, na visible sa mga, or naririnig ng mga politicians or ng mga local leaders natin na, uy, kailangan natin ng... Cycling. I mean, kasi di ba parang there was this study by sa Netherlands, yung Tom Tom traffic study ba yun na parang second worst ang Metro Manila sa traffic behind yeah. India lang or some city in India. So, di ba that's crazy. So, ibig sabihin, we need less cars on the road. Mm-hmm. Di ba? And more bikes yun sana. Yeah. I mean, the number the number for it, di ba, we're losing what, 2.3 or 3.2 billion pesos a day? And, wow, and I'm not wow, even sure, wow. I don't know the exact math, but with 2.3, with that amount that we're losing, maybe we could spend the same amount on bicycle infrastructure, infrastructure right? and save ourselves the amount of money that we we'll waste natin in the future. Kaya nga, your group was one of the, was part of this, ano, di ba? yung trial run on EDSA. Yeah, yeah. Na may mga bike cones, di ba? So, mm-hmm. nagbike ka ba dun? Were you part of that, ano? Oh. Or si- Kamusta yung experience naman? Well, yung experience na yun, medyo, ano siya eh, um, confusing. I think yun yung general uh, sentiment ko for that. Confusing because at, in the first place, it was a 1.4 kilometer strip of road um, from White Plains to uh, Boni Serrano. And okay. to me, that was like, Ang okay. uksi nun. Diba? Ang uksi lang. Kung may, yeah. hindi lang kami mga nagbabike from Pasay to Bulacan, sabi nga na mga yeah. 30 kilometers ang commute niya pa uwi, yung 1.4, not even 10% of the way going home. But, okay, parang hindi, hindi ka pa papawisan niya tan. <laughs> oh, di ba? But at least, no, there was, it was interesting din kasi for once, merong trial, nagkaroon ng, di ba? Nagkaroon mm-hmm. ng willingness to to try something different. Uh-huh. And the data proved na talagang maraming gumamit. There were 500, um, I think 500 cyclists who use it within a span wow. of four or five hours. And oh, wow. that, even the original schedule, dapat ano yun eh, uh, 8 a.m. to 12 midnight, parang ganun. Or mm-hmm. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. since my curfew. Um, but even if they cut it short, nakita talaga na a lot of people used it. And that was just 1.4 kilometers of oh, all So, oh, which... cool ka, pero confused. Why, why is there a hesitation to do something good? I know nga eh, parang... I, I heard si the MMDA gave a, gave a statement saying na parang safety of the bikers daw kasi di ba yung what they're after. Yeah. Uh, so parang why would you remove something that protects people if you're after safety? Oo so, uh, nga. Well, <laughs> so, talaga. Kaya nga. So well, I told you earlier kanina it's gonna take some time before the leaders will, ano, you know, parang bike lanes will not be, can't be built in a day or something like that. Pero, not. ano, di ba, parang, uh, parang, uh, again, di ba may parang inibita kayo ng Senate yata? Yes, yes. Oh. Pwede, sorry, pwede ka bang, ano, kasi natatawa ako, pwede ka ba basahin yung pangalan ng Senate? Sige na. <laughs> so, guys, okay, baka mag-overtime tayo dahil sa pangalan ng <laughs> So, yung committee is named Senate Committee on Sustainable Development Goals, Innovation, and Futures Thinking. Okay? <laughs> so, yun yung pangalan nung, nung committee. Ni, si Senator Cayetano ba ang, ang head nito? 
Cherry person. A cherry person niya. Okay. So I I heard iko yung one of the representatives in biking community during that um I don't know, was it a hearing or was it a presentation or ano? It was a public hearing and um they contacted okay. us to deliver a statement or opinion. Okay. Kamusta naman? How was it? Was it, well, was it helpful for, for the biking community or sino sino yung mga ano nag MMDA was there DOTR well? so various various people from different sectors MMDA DOTR um uh even like urban planners um were okay. there in other cycling groups it was a night nice, maganda siyang opportunity kasi nung unang parang two one or two weeks prior to that merong transport hearing and then okay. um, we heard that there was supposed to be a um, active mobility representative na magsasalita pero na cut off siya sa time so parang kami okay. ay hindi na kami napagsalita but apparently yon there was a time and place for us to actually speak our mind and then we had like what parang two hours in hearing so parang everyone had their fair share of time to explain their okay. and i think from that hearing i i, I became hopeful and um kasi, mm. We we had a, uh, an opportunity to speak directly with Senator Pia uh, Cayetano okay. and also the other um, um, government officials. But mm. parang, you know, after yung iba yung feeling after the hearing, eh, parang um, sabi kasi nun, I remember one thing that Pia Cayetano said was that wag nyo hihintayin tong batas na to, ah. Hindi porke hindi pa nagagawa yung batas since a hearing is for the aid, in aid of legislation, sabi niya. Hmm. Pwede na kayong gumawa ng bike lanes ngayon at dapat na kayong gumawa. And there was a part there where the DPWH, ay, uh, where, um, where the OTR, uh, yeah. even said, uh, we already have the funds to buy the bollards. Meron na. Pwede hmm. na kami bumili. We just need the willingness from the MMDA to actually place them on the road. Oh. But, and, but then the MMDA made their statement yata by, you know, removing <laughs> the ones made their, they made their positions known. So yes, <laughs> and it also made their position known um, this week when they released yung, or I'm not sure if it was an official release, but I don't know if we should call it a leak, but merong lumabas na um, technical drawing of yung plano nila na bike lane on Elsa, which is one meter wide na katabi ng, katabi ng sidewalk. So, uh-huh. That was very different dun sa pinakita ng DOTR na one lane on the rightmost side of um, Elsa yung dapat ya a lot to bikes and EKS and other mm-hmm. uh, personal mobility devices. Yeah. Well, yun nga. Um, well, well, let's remain hopeful. But um, ang good news dito is some LGUs are trying out, di ba? Like what we talked about offline. It's, QC is Quezon City is parang 161 kilometers ba? They're allotting yes. 161 kilometers for bike lanes. Si San Juan also. Si, si Yorme, I think, is exploring yeah. bike lanes in Manila also, di ba? Uh, yes. Mandaluyong, we talked about, they already created sa may Barangka Drive, di ba? Kaso yes. today, I saw a post on your page na parang tinanggal yata yung phones. Oh. Uh, so, si, si Mayor Vico, di ba? Of course, so, Masik is improving on their... Uh, uh, pero, walang sidecar yun, bawal tricycle, di ba, Mayor Vico? Hindi. So, um, hopefully, ito, sa South, Muntilupa, para niya kay Las Piñas, ikaw, you, you grew up in in Las Piñas, di ba? Almost yes. neighbors tayo. Baka nadadaanan niyo kami-kami sa CV Star, kami, may nobang uh, pinag. Pinagbibenta ng paputo ko yun, tita ko yun, eh. So, baka uh, nadaanan niyo yung bahay na. <laughs> uh, yun. So, Tayo, um, Alabang sa Forte Road, uh, usually yun yung main road ng Las Piñas. Uh, mm. Sukat Road, uh, National Highway ng Mutilupa. Med, I think, baka kaya kasi medyo manipis. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, baka may challenge ang LGUs here doing that. If, kasi, I, what do you think about, ano, uh, Jan, elevated? Elevated, um, oh. hirap yan kasi uh, when, when you're elevating, if the only option is an elevated uh, bike lane, you're already mm-hmm. making it hard for the cyclists to even think Parang about it. Diba? User experience, bike, white pa lang eh, no? paakyat. Uh, yeah. So senior yeah. citizens, mga ano, medyo hirap na agad. Oh. Sila, uh, even ako personally, yeah, like, 
kung paakitin mo ako ng isang two story or one oh. story um hindi siya uh, encouraging no hindi siya encouraging and it's a lot more expensive than just yeah. dedicated a uh, dedicated and protected bike lane i feel like oh. sa pang sa Pote road um ano ba siya four lanes siya di ba uh, four lanes and then six lanes <laughs> oh <laughs> may boost pa eh oh parang kaya naman siya gawan uh you know when it comes to bike lanes kasi um if depending on the country where you're basing the standard it goes around 1.5 to 2 meters with um, 1.5 to 2 meters comfortable for bikers na yun. safe na yun for bikers if ever yeah oh tsaka it's better to build on something that's built i mean andun eh di ba kaysa oh. tagal pa pag magtayo ka pa ng kung elevated man yan or whatever di ba at least um harness or maximize kung ano na yung meron nandun. Yeah. And I was trying to imagine it earlier. Uh. Um, di ko alam kung nandun pa rin yung friendship route. Is it... Meron pa rin. Meron pa rin. Bukas pa rin. Well, ngayon, sarado siya because of COVID. Ah. Pero, uh, even si BF, para niya ke, they check na kung yung ID mo ah. as resident ka. So, but you know, if pagka may ordinance, di ba? I mean, yeah. so all the old yeah. are going to open up. I mean, it's hindi siya shortcut kasi longer route siya, but it's going to be safer. So, it's doesn't, really tama ka, no? oh, it doesn't, tama ka, it doesn't have to be on the main road naman, di ba? Pwede well, naman siya inside roads kung sakali. Oh, kasi parang how I'm imagining it is if you want to, for example, if you're coming from Casimiro, tapos hmm. meron namang way from Casimiro through the friendship route to get to C5 hmm. extension, di ba? Yes, so, yes, meron. There, Mahapodan, Kapitus, Naga Road, yeah, oh. Oh, so oh. that's something that not other cities like they don't have that. They have friendship groups. Oh, actually, that's one. Ano, sana kung may nakikinig from Hello Las Pinas City Government, <laughs> Mayor Mel Aguilar or Vice Mayor April. <laughs> kung may nakikinig sa inyo, di ba? Something that can be explored. Parang para magbawasan yung traffic sa alabang sa Pati Road kasi parang what, 20,000 vehicles yata dumadaan doon daily or rush hour lang yan. So... Uh, mabawasan man lang yun, di ba? And if may if this continues, kung yung public transportation natin, medyo 50% occupancy lang, di ba? It would be great to see uh, bikes there, di ba? So, uh, okay, may guide questions ako sa'yo, di ba, Jam? So, <laughs> ano yun na natin? Uh, for those na ano, dun sa who are thinking of ano biking dyan, um, ano ba yung benefits? Siguro if you can give mga three, three benefits ng ng biking oh. para lang maingganyo natin sila. Okay. So Alam I ko think, marami yan. Uh, I think the three are, um, of course, health yung pinakauna despite the mis- misconceptions. No? So, um, people would usually think na, I mean, safe ba yung pagbibisikleta? Hindi ba ma- mausukan ka and you'll get sick? Um, mm-hmm. And studies show that, uh, or well, at least a study shows that um, mm-hmm. you need to be biking eight hours in a day bago ma- outweigh nung risk, health risk, yung benefits from cycling. So, oh, it's a pain kailangan nasa kalsada ka for 8 hours bago magsimulang lumala yung ma-hurt yung or ma-risk yung health mo. Okay. Otherwise, if you're biking 30 minutes to an hour in a day, okay ka. Oh. Oh. Um, of course, other than physical health, nandyan yung mental health. Dahil hmm. sobrang laking tulong niya with your mood, it pumps you up um, Yun, yun, yun din yung isang misconception para baka naman pagdating ko sa trabaho hindi na wala nang energy to work um, uh-huh. in uh, the experience of most of my friends in baliktad you get pumped up for work so, para that's true nagkakaano ka eh di ba adrenaline that's work para oh. yeah, i feel healthy or ano di ba well maligo exactly. ka lang kasi kawawa yung mates mo di ba pero yeah <laughs> so nandun yung health and then nandun din yung financial benefit um sobrang clear naman yun na versus maintaining a vehicle or even uh, riding multiple public uh, transport modes. Um, mm-hmm. Mas affordable yung pagbabike. Um, mm-hmm. And then the last one, I guess, is overall societal impact. Um, it helps the, everyone else, even the drivers, when there are more cyclists on the road. Diba? Mm-hmm. Um, if we, if the people who can bike, diba? we're not saying that everyone can bike kasi. Um, mm-hmm. If the people who can bike choose to ride their bikes, then the people who have no choice but to ride cars, aka people who have to ride 
uh, senior citizens who have to be brought to hospitals or places or emergency vehicles, delivery vehicles. We'll have mm-hmm. more space and more um, mas mabilis yung time. Basically, Lazada orders natin. <laughs> Bibilis, di ba? <laughs> oh, pag-order mo pa lang, mamaya, nandiyan na, di ba? Oh. <laughs> Wag natin sabihin yan sa mga asawa natin. Baka mamaya. <laughs> <laughs> ano, kwento mo naman dyan, kasi, uh, di ba, ikaw, you sold your car, yeah. sabi mo, and then you've been, kano katagal na na yeah, nag-commute, so, commute Oh, um, I've been biking commuting since 2017. Um, Binetra yung koche around late 2016. So, mm-hmm. nag-drive lang ako ng personal car from 2015 when I graduated until 2016. Tapos di ko na kinaya talaga. Parang sila na ulo ko. So, <laughs> yun. Uh, eh, ikaw, di ba, ano ka? Mandalu yung to Katipunan. Ilang kilometers lang yun, eh, di ba? Oh, right now, uh, ano siya? Uh, 10 kilometers one way. Okay. Ako naman kasi, munting lupa to Makati eh. So, mas, mas taxing, mas challenging yung driving. <laughs> pero, nag, na-try, oh, na-try ko na yun. Um, pero, I did it on a Saturday. I tried biking from munting lupa hanggang office namin sa Makati. Mm-hmm. Okay naman kasi, less cars during the weekend. Pero, ang problema ko nun was, service road ako eh. So, Medyo puro jeep. Oh. <laughs> puro jeep siya kamaliit, just puro motor. So, parang, 20 kilometers yata, nakuha ko mga 2, plur, two hours plus or something, eh, di ba? Tapos, ah. oh, tapos pabalik, hindi ko na kaya dahil napagod na ako. Dahil hindi naman ako, weekend biker lang ako eh. So, right. thankfully, may P2P sa Greenbelt. <laughs> so, nag-P2P ako to Alabang Town Center. Tapos, bitay ko na lang from Town Center to our oh. place, di ba? So, okay din, okay din naman. So, yun, uh, ano pa ba? Next question. Parang ano, quiz night lang eh, no? Ah, uh, yun. For those who are exploring, kasi like me, people know that I se- send my bike. I bike. Siya, napopost akong picture, so akala nila minsan expert ako sa bike. So marami nagtatanong sa akin about bike buying, di ba? So, uh, yung ngayon, yung maraming, since maraming nag-explore to buy new bikes, ano ba dyan yung kailangan nila gawin? Should it be a top of the line na 50,000 pesos sa bike, 60,000 pesos sa bike, or... Okay ba yung mga drinks dyan, yung mga 5,000 peso bikes? Are those okay for, ano, for use? Yeah, oh, um, drinks is one of the, you know, most affordable entry-level bikes that we actually uh, would recommend to use. Oh, oh nakakatuwa si drinks. Hindi mo naman kailangan. Yung bikers dahil sa kanya, di ba? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, instrumental nga sila doon. Um, oh. in, in terms of tips, yung unang thing, regardless of the brand, no, um, na hindi rin naiisip ng kadalasan is yung pag, pagpili ng tamang size. Uh, um, Akala ng iba, ako when I first, ano, when did you biking, parang pare-pareho lang yan. I don't know, may small frame, medium frame. Oh, hindi ko alam yung ganun. Parang tansya-tansya lang, no? Oo. Oh. Yun, ano yun, next, uh, mistake ko yun nung nagsimula ako. I bought a medium mountain bike kasi parang sa akin, okay, pag mas malaki, mas safe siguro, mas makikita na oh. sa sakit. And then within six months, I had to change it. So in investment ko sa bike na yun, mga 22,000, bumili ulit ako ng bago. So important to get the right size and also consider yung bike for the right purpose. So um, of course, marami tayong makikita na mountain bikes, road bikes, may mga folding mm-hmm. bikes. Um, and of course, different cyclists will have their own opinion or like bias towards that Ah, Siyempre ko, ano yung meron sila. Ah, oh, 29er is the best, di ba? <laughs> oh, pero it should really be personal to you. For example, yun nga, kung taga Las Piñas ka and may makikita mo na medyo malayo siya and you want the flexibility na minsan siguro, uwi ako nang magbabas na lang ako or mag-grab, um, then mm-hmm. maybe a folding bike might be more useful kasi at least madadala mo siya anytime. Di ba? Oo nga eh. Sana um, nga, sana yung sabi mo kasi I, in one of your essays nakita ko or one of your articles dun sa Cycling Matters. Sana yeah. may modal din yung oh. tayo eh, no? Di ba? Like, yun sa akin, sorry ko, nung nagmakati ako, hindi ko na kinaya. Buti may P2P on that day, kundi baka natulog na lang ako kung saan dun eh. <laughs> okay, yeah. so aside from from that, so isipin mo yung size and then pangalawa, yung use. Yung purpose, yung use. Oh. Yung purpose mo. Um, oh. And of course, when you're thinking of the purpose, you have to, kailangan mo isipin yung root exact route na dadaanan mo. 
Um, okay. And also get a bike from a shop that can offer you service and warranty. Um, okay. Meron mga bike shops. Um, no offense. Uh, wala namang not, not that it's a bad thing. Like of course they're mm-hmm. they're helping out because ngayon ang hirap maghanap ng bike. But not all bike shops kasi can provide the proper service and even spare parts for your bike. Um, but mm-hmm. nagkaroon ng problema. And syempre yung warranty kahit na yung in-invest mo maliit man or malaki, you want na kung masira yan, may mangyari oh, problema. Oh, 100% dapat. O oh, yung iba kasi pagbenta parang oh, bahala ka na. Oh, so yun. One thing that is important. And then, I think the last thing for me right uh, for this podcast is yung to invest in good tires. Uh, diba? Uh-huh. Um, Pinakaayaw naman yan ng kahit driver or siklista yung mag-flatan ka, di ba? Um, uh-huh. Iba yung pawis ng nag-bike ka going to work sa pawis ng napatigil ka at nag-pump ka. Ka. <laughs> ka. Di ba? Di ba yun? Oh, may, may, frustration, may frustration kasi yun. <laughs> 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 Tsaka yung mga roads natin naman, you know, they're not the best roads in the world, di ba? So, Yeah. Factor in mo yung lubak, yung, di ba? Oh. oh. Yun. Okay, so, thank you for those tips. Pero ito pa, um, last na lang sana. Safety tips naman. Kasi, kwento lang, kanina I went to the office. I had to get something sa office na. Nag-drop, nag, may, may kinuha lang naman ako. So, I saw a lot of bikers. Kasi, syempre, two months, three months ako hindi punta sa office, di ba? Significantly, ang daming nagpabike kanina na nakita ko, which made me happy. And then, sad at the same time kasi most of the bikers dyan, hindi naka-helmet. Parang akala nila yung cap nila eh, masasalba na sila eh. So, siguro a call lang for the bikers to be safer on the road. Right. Uh, um, in terms of safety tips, uh, of course, if you can afford it, buy a helmet. Naintindihan ko yung marami na napit na yun. That's their choice. So, hindi naman nila afford because like a, bicy- uh, a helmet can cost Uh, one full day of minimum wage to like, there are helmets na, diba, three five or whatnot. Medyo, oh. if you can afford it, mahirap. Pero if you can afford it and if you can save up for it, th- do your best to buy a helmet. Um, yeah. Always see and be seen. So, laging alerto sa daan, tingin sa kalsada, and also try to wear yung diba, proper clothing that allows you na makita ka sa daan. Yung kita ka, like neon or ano, especially oh. pag nag-bike commute ka, pag pawi ka, gabi na eh. Oh, I mean, not mm. even just clothing, no? Even yung front and rear lights. And isa rin yung mistake ko na nagsimula ako. Sabi ko, mm. I tried to save. One-eighth kasi yung isang, ano, yung isang, uh, isang front light. So sabi mm. ko, ah, hindi ko pa naman siguro kaya, kaya kailangan to kasi aagahan ko yung uwi ko. E eh, ginabi ako. Pag uwi ko, uh, medyo nagmamadali ako kasi first few weeks ko pa lang na nang, first week ko pa lang na pagkocommute. Mm. Na, na, na may nasagasaan akong island. Nag-superman ako uh, to the road. And yung 1-8 na sinave ko, naging 7,000 sa emergency room. <laughs> I had four stitches to my chin. So, mayroon ako dito actually. So, okay. So, again, if you, based, based on experience pala to talaga. Oh, based on oh, experience yung safety na to. Yeah. Oh, and oh. Yeah, be prepared. Um, make sure you have the proper gear uh, and equipment that allows you to Uh, be uh, prepared for emergencies. Um, mm-hmm. if, if you don't mind, um, plug locks for a while. Um, on no, our no, no, website, no. we have a beginner series of uh, four articles um, Yo, from guys. deciding to become a bike commuter to choosing the right bike for you and um, all other steps in the process that we think people uh, would be helpful for, for cyclists. So, Ayun, you know, on Send mo sa akin yun dyan, tapos share Sige, natin. Yeah. Para, ano, para malaman nila. Kasi, for me, safety talaga. Like, my mom, sabi, taga-BF, may, may tita ko na yung anak niya, pinabili lang ng, literal, pinabili ng suka sa tindahan, nag-bike, hindi nag-helmet. Alam mo, yung sa gitna ng humps, di ba yung sa gilid? Di ba, oh. basta natin, no, humps. So, doon tayo sa gilid pupunta. Andulas doon, guys, ha? Warning. Nadulas. Nahulog yeah. siya. May bato, tumama may ulo na matay. So, yeah. helmet, kahit dyan lang, kahit bibili ka lang ng suka, ng bagong, or ano, helmet, guys. So, tama yung sabi ni... Even more than helmet nga and mga gear, eh, uh, one thing we also try to um, tell people is, yung training and endurance should be taken seriously. Um, train, 
Oh, if you're going to start, try mo muna week by week, siguro every Saturday, kung ano man yung kayanin mo na, hey, just enjoy the ride, and then mm-hmm. pahaba ng pahaba hanggang ma-reach mo comfortably yung commute distance mo. And that allows you to make, uh, mapapractice mo yung handling, di ba? Malaman mo yes. na yun. Plus yung gutter, <laughs> yung mga ganun. Oh. Totoo. Si Hindi kasi yun. ako dati, nagbabike ako, even now, sa village muna, every time pag bago yung bike mo, di ba? You get to feel it. Yeah. Bike ka lang ng bike sa loob ng village until you become uh, ang arte. You become one with the bike. Parang ganyan. Yeah. Na, alam mo na yung handling, alam mo na yung oh, pag kumanto ko dito, ito yung movement ng bike. Ganyan. That's very important, di ba? So ako nag-practice yeah. muna ako here sa village bago ako lumabas papuntang kung saan man. Di ba? Tama. Oh. Yun. So, okay. Thank you for those tips. Sobrang helpful nun. Um, especially dun sa would-be bikers. I'm sure marami dyan. Sana... Uh, doon sa mga nunod, nanunod ngayon ng live, hello, thank you, sorry, hindi ko kayo mabati lahat. Uh, pero we'll, may replay naman nito, so I'll post this again together with the links na bibigay ni Jan sa akin for the, the tips, ganyan. Uh, tas to follow din yung, yung mga social media accounts din nila. So ano na lang siguro, Jan, uh, last message lang for, since dito tayo sa South, di ba? And since, ano ka rin, dito ka rin naman galing, I, I'm sure you still have friends siguro here, mga kapitbahay mo. Uh, dati, na, you know, parang, if you have a message lang to the LGUs siguro, muna. Okay. Um, to the LGUs, uh, don't be afraid. Uh, we, you have our full support if, you, you know, if your intentions are for the greater good. Um, the data is there to support such a decision if you are to make, you know, to, to create in, uh, bike infrastructure. Overwhelming mm-hmm. data and major hindi na siya arguable. I mean, Naging, naging, naging default na natin ngayon yung cycling oh. because of COVID. Napilitan pa tayo to adapt when we could have done it early. So now is the time to do it. We can make it work. We can be decisive. We can use our political will. Uh, merong mm-hmm. joke na damada na umiikot ngayon, di ba? If we are proud of the idea of build, 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 and we, we want to have all of, the, of these infrastructure for cars, the bike lanes, the bike infrastructure, the end-of-trip facilities for cycling, it's a low-hanging fruit. Mm-hmm. Na afford yeah. that and will help everyone, including you. Oh, si GPWH Secretary Mark Villar, Las Piñas yan. Oh. <laughs> so, build, build, build. Di ba? Baka, you know, baka may common friends tayo dito or may mga, baka si Secretary Villar nanonood. Di ba? Baka they can contact you guys para, ano, to consult with you guys. Di ba? Yeah. Tapos, ano, yan, last. For future bikers, ano ang message natin sa kanila? Uh, for future bikers, um, other than the Sorry. safety tips and all the things we already mentioned, um, you're not alone. Yun yung beauty of cycling. Um, oh, sa cycling, ma- uh, oh, nang pag naflatan ka at may dumaan na cyclist, lalapitan ka at tatanungin kung kailangan mo ng tulong or okay ka lang. Oh, and totoo yan. that goes beyond the road. Online, there is a huge community of people who are passionate and practical and, I, and, and in love with this idea. And you can always ask questions. Um, you can also ask us questions about anything at all that could help you get on the road and bike. Yes, totoo. Sorry, nakita ko yung sa ano yung biyahe, hashtag biyahe ni Han. Yes. Oh. May nagbibigay sila ng mga neon na sash for free dun sa mga oh, new bikers okay. na nakikita nila, di ba? So guys, yeah. walang mga suplado na nagbabay. Pag nag-cring-cring, binal ka, mag-bell back ka din, di ba? Minsan oh. iba kasi suplado. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, mahiya. Okay lang yan. Friends tayo lahat on the road, di ba? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, okay. Sige. Uh, yun na. Okay. Baka you need some... Ano, ano na lang. Promote na lang dyan. Pa-promote naman yung Cycling Matters. Yung oh. social media accounts nyo. Ano na para they know uh, how they can get in touch with you or how to follow you. Yes. Uh, please follow Cycling Matters on Facebook. So, that's Cycling Matters. Um, fb.com slash Cycling Matters PH. We also are on Twitter. Uh, cycling matters underscore. We're also on Instagram, um, cycling matters, and uh, we have a podcast. We're available on YouTube, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all the other uh, podcast nice. apps. You can oh, also visit so, our website. Sorry, um, cycling matters page. Ayun. So you can find them everywhere, diba? So kung anong medium yung gusto nyo, you can reach them. As for bike tips, kung as simple as ano ba yung pinakamagandang pump dyan, tanongin nyo sila, 
sobrang bait nila. They're very open and very helpful. As with all the other, ano naman, bikers yeah. here naman, di ba? So, uh, thank you. Thank you, Jan, for, you so una, for, guest, for guesting here. Uh, thank the other guys also, si Brian, yung una kong kausap. Thank them also for yes. for lending you to us. And then, so thank you for giving us time. And then, thank you for doing this, for doing what you, what you guys do. And it's okay. an honor to be on your podcast as well. Thank you so much for inviting us. Thank you. Thank you, Jan. Kita, hopefully, I'll meet you guys on the road. Magkita tayo oh. somewhere. Diba? Pag pwede na yung mga mass gathering or ano, di ba? Baka we'll mm. see each other. Magulat na lang kayo, di ba? So, yeah. so yun. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, thank you kayo kay Jan. Sige. I'll let you go na. I'll, ano na lang. Mag-exit lang muna ako. Thanks, Jan. Okay. Thank you very much. Ingat ha. Ingat on the road. Yes. Thank you. Bye, Jan. Yun. So thank you again, Jan Belmonte of ano of Cycling Matters, uh, for giving us time, for giving us those updates dun sa bike lanes ng natin, di ba? Parang yun lang naman kasi rin ang gusto malaman ng mga newbie bikers if it's safe for them to be biking on the road with cars and motorcycles. So thank you, Cycling Matters and the other groups, the other biking groups for um, being our voice, you know, um, advocating biking. Um, thank you for that. So, uh, yun. So, may natutunan ba kayo? At, ano, magbabike na ba kayo? So, masaya siya kasi ngayon, kahit naka-mask naman, presko naman minsan, di ba? So, uh, enjoy siya. Tapos yun, kung wala kayo masakyan, di ba, magbike na lang kayo, di ba? 10-15 kilometers, basta safe naman, you know, sundin nyo lang yung mga tips na sinabi ni Jan. You'll be fine, di ba? So, Thank you. So, dun sa mga LGU, sana, ano, let us know. Um, if you want to get in touch with sila dyan or the other biking advocates, let us know. Baka we can hook you up with them, di ba? Para less traffic, di ba? Angal tayo na angal sa traffic. We waste, what, two, three hours a day of our, of our day sa traffic. So, maybe this is the way. Healthy ka na, like what Jan said. Tapos, ano pa, less traffic pa. So, less frustration, less away, less gastos pag mabangga ka pa or less gastos sa gas, ganyan, di ba? So, yun, uh, Cycling Matters. Ganda nung pangalan ng group nila, di ba? Double, ano, Cycling Matters, and then It Matters. So, uh, thank you for listening dun sa mga nak- makikinig ng replay din. Uh, maraming salamat. Uh, sana like nyo, share nyo to dun sa biker friends nyo, tag nyo lang sila, uh, watch party or something. Uh, kasi maraming matututunan about biking. And enjoy yung biking ako. Weekend biker lang ako, pero I enjoy every time I, I go out on the road. So, yun. Maraming salamat for, for watching. Uh, please share, please like, please subscribe. Uh, yun, may Instagram din kami, Alabang Bulletin. May, may Twitter din kami, may Facebook din kami, Alabang Bulletin. Hindi lang siya for Alabang and Montelupa people, for Paranya kay Las Pinas also siya. So, um, do follow us and do like and share. Um, so, next week naman, uh, episode 6 na tayo. Ang guest natin is um, yun, another healthy, ano, healthy healthy thing yung ginagawa nila. So, ang guest natin is um, Erwin Nang. Erwin Nang from Jump Manila. So, jump rope naman. Ako yun yung what saved me this lockdown, yung jump rope na yan. If you ask my friends, I kita I do jump ropes almost every day. So, we learn the basics of jump roping. Wala akong, di mo kailangan punta ng gym, walang big space. One meter, two meters lang sa house mo, sa, sa garahe nyo. So, uh, let's learn the basics of jump rope next next week dun sa mga next week dun sa gusto mo dito June 17 uh, with Mr. Irwin ng ng Jump Manila so thank you again for watching Balita sa South by Alabang Bulletin uh, my name is DJ Constantino uh, bye bye see you on the road uh, helmet ah guys don't forget helmet dun sa magbabike bye thank you